Hello students, in this video, we will be learning about quantization process. What is the quantization process? I given the three points there, that is nothing but a quantization process. What is the first point? The total dynamic range of a signal is divided into L equal number of steps, where L is called what? number of quantization levels for example if the total dynamic range of a signal for suppose is from 0 to 8 sir this is the total dynamic range of a signal the total dynamic range of a signal is dividing into l equal number of steps for example l value is 4 then the total dynamic range is dividing into 4 equal steps then what is this value, sir? Obviously, 2. This is 4. This is 6. Here, the size of the each step is called, sir, step size. Step size is denoted with delta. Here, can you say, what is the delta value, sir? Delta value is 2. How you got 2? Can you explain me? Yeah, someone is saying that, yes, 8 minus 0 by 4, sir. What is 8, sir? V max. What is 0, sir? V minimum. 4 means L. V max minus V minimum by L. That is, I can also write V max minus V minimum means V peak to peak by L. R V peak to peak by L means 2 power N also I can write. That is one set of formulas for delta. For example, if it is a sinusoidal signal, if it is a sinusoidal signal, then what about delta formula? V max AM, V minimum minus AM for the sinusoidal signal divided by L. That is 2am by L or 2am by 2 power n also. Are you getting my point? So for general, v peak, peak, v peak to peak by L for sinusoidal 2am by L or 2 power n. L means 2 power n. So first point is total dynamic range is dividing into L equal number of steps. Read the second point. What is the second point? Middle of the each step is taken as a quantization level. What is the middle of the step, sir? The middle of this step is 1, this step is 2, sorry, 3, this step is 5, this step is 7. Are you getting my point? Follow. The quantization The quantization levels are, what are the quantization levels you got? 1 volt, 3 volt, 5 volt, 7 volt. Are you getting my point? These are the quantization levels. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Middle of the step is taken as a quantization level. What are the third point, sir? Each sample in the step is rounding off to Middle of the step. Why? Because middle is our quantization level. Our nearest both will be same only. To explain this, I will take a simple table how the quantization process is going on. Let's take for example, this is sampler output. This is quantizer output. And what is the error and what is the encoder output also we can take. Huh. Sampler output or quantizer input both are nothing but a same only students. Sampler output is nothing but quantizer input only. What is the error? What error means here? Quantization error. 
This is QE. What is a quantization error, sir? Quantizer input minus quantizer output. What is a quantizer input? Quantizer input or sampler output both will be same. So error is nothing but sampler output minus quantizer output or quantizer input minus quantizer output is called quantization error. Here four levels are there. So obviously how many bits? Two. What are the codes? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now follow students. For example, I am taking some sampler values 0 0.7, 1.6, 2, 3.5, 4.9, like 5.6, 7.1, 7 7.9, like some values I take. Now try to see the third point. Each sample in the step is rounding off to middle or nearest, both will be same. Point 0.7 volt is nearer to what, sir? Point 0.7 or up. Point 0.7 is in which step, sir? First step. All the samples in the first step is rounding off to middle. That is its quantization level. So point 0.7 is rounding off to 1. What is the error, sir? This minus this. So, minus 0.3. 1 means encoder output is 0, 0. 1.6, sir. 1.6 is 2. Then error minus 0.4 is a wrong, students. We are not rounding off to nearest integers. We are rounding off to nearest quantization levels. You can take 1.6 is nearer to which level or which quantization level or 1.6 is in which step 1.6 is in the first step only the samples in the first step rounding off to middle or nearest that itself is 1 error is plus 0.6 encoder output 0 0 next to follow here 2 volt if you see exactly 2 volt 2 volt is the boundary of the step. Whether if you are rounding off to 3 or if you are rounding off to 1, error will be same. Error will be same. So 2 can be rounding off to either 1 or 3. If you are rounding off to 1, error is 1 volt. Rounding off to 3, minus 1. 1 means 0, 0. 3 means 0, 1. Next, 3.4. If you observe 3.4 in the second step, is rounding off to 3, error is 0.4, code is 0, 1. 4.9. Yeah, 4.9. 4.9 is rounding off to, obviously 4.9 is in the step. So rounding off to 5, error is 0.1. Encoder 1, 0. 5.6, also in this step. So 5, are you following my point? Not a 6, 6 is not a quantization level. Error is 0.6, 1, 0. 7.1 is in the last step. So rounding up to 7, error is 0.1. Encoder output 1, 1. 7.8, 7.9. Obviously not 8 students, 8 is not a quantization level. 7. Then it will be 0.911. We are rounding off to nearest to quantization level, not to the nearest integer. Try to understand. Clear? Now you can observe here. Now you can observe here. See the, uh, see the quantization table and see the quantization error column. If you see the quantization error column, I can say what is the QE max or you can tell me what is the maximum quantization error you got by seeing the table. Yes, plus or minus 1. You can take any of the sample in this total dynamic range of 0 to 8. You can quantize. Error never be more than plus or minus 1. So you got 
in this process error is plus or minus 1 i can say plus or minus delta by 2 where delta is 2 so quantization error qe max is nothing but a student plus or minus delta by 2 what is the delta sir v max minus v minimum by l by 2 or i can say plus or minus v peak to peak by l or 2l by 2 or i can also say for sinusoidal signals 2am by l divided by 2 2 2 gone so am by am by l or you can say am by 2 power n or here also i can say v peak to peak by 2 into 2 power n now so l is nothing but 2 power n delta divided by 2 is called qe max here that 2 is cancelled so that's why i'm not writing 2 don't think that i forgot clear yeah after that what we need to learn is students with duration the next point you need to understand is students bit duration what is bit duration in the previously one is represented by positive pulse zero is represented by negative pulse how much duration we have to maintain for one how much duration we have to maintain for zero is called bit duration let's if you take the simple sampler output the samples are coming with a duration of ts means what is the time available for us to process each and every sample the time available for us to process each and every sample is ts duration in this ts duration we need to process that sample why because in the next ts next sample will come for example each sample is representing by 2 2 bits suppose so how many bits i have to process in ts 2 bits I have to process in this example. Suppose each bit is needed 10 millisecond. So TS value should be at least 20 millisecond. How 20? 2 bits each bit of 10 milli. Then what is this two number of bits? What is this 10 milli bit duration? Clear? Then what is TB equal to sir? TB equal to TS by N. That is nothing but 1 by nfs fs means what sampling rate clear after the bit duration the next point is students bit rate very very important bit rate is denoted with rb rate means always per second what rate bit rate so bits per second so i can say rb equal to bit per sample into sample per second i can write what is bit per sample n sample per second sampling rate so rb is nothing but the students nfs if you clearly observe rb is also equal to 1 by tb because tb came as 1 by nfs rb is nfs so rb equal to 1 by tb clear now follow here two points are there transmission bandwidth tx means transmission bandwidth also called this is minimum transmission bandwidth minimum transmission bandwidth why both are same bandwidth is a parameter we have to utilize how much is minimum needed if bandwidth requirement is more then cost will increase so that's why minimum transmission bandwidth or transmission bandwidth both are same which is nothing but rb by 2 is the minimum value what about the maximum maximum you can go up to bit rate so maximum transmission bandwidth equal to rb you can go up to bit rate are you getting my point so here minimum transmission bandwidth rb by 2 maximum rb rb is nfs or 1 by tv tv is 1 by nfs then qe max is delta by 2 and delta formulas 
v max minus v minimum by l or v max minus v minimum by 2 power n or 2 a m by l or 2 a m by 2 power n and this is the quantization process and remember the quantization process table and error i given plus or minus delta by 2 and to change the step size this example i also used in the one of the gate problem so when you are solving that gate problem i will tell you about the quantization process table that this table you need to remember after seeing that problem we will get back here if any doubt is there clear